averages. Pretty darn important in physics, <clears throat> wouldn't you say? Turns out integrals can be very useful for us to find averages. So here are the instructions. Integrate, then divide by the width of your integration window. So that's the bounds of your integration. And I'll tell you why this works. You have a graph. Yeah. Give yourself, uh, we're gonna go back to the physics language. We'll say that this is time and this is velocity. So let's say your velocity is increasing like this, some very interesting acceleration. And uh, that's between zero seconds and 10 seconds and you're interested in finding what your average velocity is during this time so you can find your displacement. It's pretty obviously uh, a goal that you might want to have and the <clears throat> here's the thing you know that the area under the curve the area that I have crosshatched right there that area is base times height for a rectangle right? So I'm going to draw a rectangle that I think kind of represents the same area and I think it's going to be like right here. You think that that has about the same area? I hope that it does, but uh, that's the area of that rectangle right there base times height. So here's the thing, if you want to know how high that rectangle is, that rectangle, imagine this is your velocity. Your velocity could either have been starting small and getting bigger, 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 or it could have started at this level and stayed that way the same time in order for your displacement to be the same. So this is actually your average velocity. That's that level right there, the height of the rectangle whose area is equal to the area underneath the curve between zero and 10 seconds. That defines the average velocity. And if we want to find the height from this equation right here, why well, that's pretty simple, height is equal to area divided by base. And the cool thing is area is the integral. So height is equal to the integral divided by the width of the window. That's the integration window right here. Width of integration. Integral divided by width. Okay. So as another example of what's going on here, we need to consider, um, well, for this, uh, if the integral is delta x, I've told you that if you integrate velocity over time, you get displacement. Okay. If the integral is delta x, then the integral divided by the width is equal to delta x, that's the integral, right, divided by the width. Now the width is just delta t. So we have delta x divided by delta t, and that's average velocity. That's the definition of average velocity that we've seen many times. Look at that, three stripes because that's the definition. An example will be coming shortly, but this is a very powerful technique. Average <clears throat> examples. Let's get to it. Here is a function. Let's say that the velocity, what are we going to do? Let's, let's give a function where you've got um, another parabola and this is velocity and this is time and let's say that uh, the velocity function looks like this. You know, the velocity is 3t squared plus 4. And so if we're going to draw this, we know that 
let's see, when the time is three seconds, if we plug in three seconds right here, three, that's gonna be nine, and we multiply it by three, that'll be, oh my goodness. Let's, let's uh, find the y-intercept here first. Y-intercept is going to be four, and this is going to be way, way up there. Let's see, we've got uh, 27 plus four is 31, so that's where this point is right here. Not exactly to scale, but um, let's see, this is four meters per second, 31 meters per second, three seconds, and I want to know what the average speed over this time is. So what I'll do is I'll take the, I don't know that V average is delta X over delta T. That's the definition of the average. And then I know that delta X is the integral. It's the integral between zero and three of three T squared plus four integrated over t, so instead of x, I'm going to be integrating over t. It doesn't matter what variable we integrate over, it just means we pay attention to the t's instead of the x's as before. And then I have to divide that by the time interval, and the time interval is between 0 and 3, so I'm going to divide it by 3 seconds. All right, <clears throat> the plan is to uh, break this apart, so we're going to have 3 times the integral. One mo Everything will be divisible by three seconds. So we're going to um, separate this integral. And so the first term is three times t squared dt. And the second term is four dt. So the three pulls out. So I have an integral of three times t squared dt. And then, oh, this marker is not as good. And the next term is four times the integral of one times dt, or just the integral over dt. Both of these integrals are very simple, so let's evaluate each of them. This is three times t to the third over three evaluated between, let's see, each of these has bounds zero and three, because that's where we want to know the average velocity between the time zero and three seconds. So this is between zero and three. And then I have to add to it four times, ooh, you remember the integral of one? The integral of one is simply the variable, in this case, t. So it's going to be four times t evaluated at zero and evaluated at three. And again, I have to divide the entire thing by three seconds. So, let's try this out. We are plugging in here. Um, this is three times, ooh, three to the third. Three to the third is, well, let's first notice that uh, the second thing, the one we'll be subtracting, is zero here. 0 to the third divided by 3, and this one will be 0 also. So we don't have to subtract anything. That's cool. Um, so we're going to do 3. Now, 3 to the third is 27, but we're dividing by 3. So this is essentially going to be 9. 3 times 9. And then I'm going to add to it this result, which is four to the third. Holy cow, four to the third. Four to the third. Wait a second, no. It's going to be just three, four times three, that's 12. Good, so we divide that by three and that means we've got, let's see, this is 27 plus 12. 27 plus 12 is 39 divided by three. Remember this has units of meters up top because it is the displacement. And in the denominator we've got units of seconds. So this is 39 meters divided by three seconds. That's 13 meters per second. So over this time the average is 13. Let's see if we can make a picture that shows that. Let's try purple. Um, 13, well somewhere in between 4 and 31 on this horrible scale is 13. So I would say maybe it's about right there. And this rectangle 
I'm proposing has the same area as this funky shape right here. You think? So they have the same area. So this value right here is the average velocity, which is 13 meters per second. Cool. Calculus is really handy. Yay, calculus.